company known as Oxitec is uh, planning on genetically modifying something known as the diamondback moth. And the diamondback moth is basically uh, one of the major pests that destroys our cabbage crops, uh, uh, broccoli, and fruit. And as a result, uh, Oxitec is thinking, well, if we can just completely get rid of the diamondback moth, then we don't need to use pesticides. Uh oh. Okay. So, we got trouble. So this is really interesting because what they want to do is introduce something known as the suicide gene to these moths. Yeah. Okay. So when the I male can't wait for it to get into men. Yeah, that's <laughs> going to be terrific. Oh, oops. Oh no, it got into the yeah, yeah human species. Uh, Oh well, we had a nice run. So it's really interesting how this would work. I mean, forget about humans. Think about what this could possibly do to the ecosystem, right? Because the diamondback moths, I'm sure, do a little more than just, you know, become pests for our crops, right? Mm -hmm. And to completely destroy an entire species of moths might not be a good idea. And that's the thing. Um, Oxitec is being criticized because they aren't being transparent about this. Now, they genetically modified mosquitoes in the Cayman Islands, and they didn't let the residents know about what they were doing. And they got into a little bit of trouble about that. So the lack of transparency is issue number one here. Yeah, uh, issue number two is fucking with the whole planet. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, Oxitec sounds like the bad guys in a bad movie, like in a B-rate movie, like, oh, there's Oxitec. So now, I in reality, look, the, I get it. There's uh, obviously we're enormous fans of science here, and there's uh, great advantages in being able to produce more food, etc. And Oxitec is not in a movie; it's a real company, and and I'm sure they do some good as well, right? But here, I. All I'm saying is they got to be really, really careful. Right. And, and and putting the kidding aside about introducing them, the human genes, moth genes are not going to become human genes. Everybody, I hope, understands that, right? But putting these suicide genes into any species, you know, I'm I'm afraid, man. Like we we mess around with nature all the time. Don't get me wrong; it's not like we're pristine and we've never messed with any other plants or animals' DNA, but. At some point, we might make a mistake that we have a little bit of trouble recovering from. Right, and, and I think that's why it's so important for these companies to be transparent. Because one thing that I, I definitely want everyone to understand is I know that a lot of these companies come from good intentions, right? Now, of course, it's, there's a profit motive. They're thinking about their bottom line. But at the same time, they're trying to solve a real problem, which is, you know, what can we do to prevent our crops from being destroyed without having to use pesticides, which by the way, I'm sure Monsanto is not a fan of all this. Because the whole reason why Monsanto genetically modified our food is so it would be immune to uh, the pesticides that we use, right? And now so all of a sudden, a you have a different company coming along saying, hey, if we just get rid of the pests, you don't need the pesticide. What if we genetic genetically modify the humans so they're not bothered by the pesticide or the food? <laughs> well, you're giving people ideas now. <laughs>